What's up guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing another little short video here. I just want to talk to you guys today about uh, IRC chat. Um, I've been doing IRC for a while, but uh, you know, getting into different chats and trying different IRCs. Um, when I was on Windows, I was trying uh, Merc or MIRC um, and didn't really particularly like it. Uh, then when I got on Linux, I tried out uh, the, back when I lived at my apartment, um, I tried out the uh, the XChat um, IRC client and uh, I like it. I like it. It it doesn't crash on me when I open it. Sometimes um, uh, everything about it is is what I need, what I want in in a IRC client. Um, but anyways, whoops, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like about this. Um, anyways. Uh, I'm having a good conversation in the uh, Linux Mint um, chat. We're talking about uh, developing a <clears throat> a more secure um, video chat um, service, more secure than Skype or uh, Google Hangouts. Um, and we're talking about others as well, other um, off-brand, if you will, if I can name it, call it that, off-brand. Um, uh, video chat programs um, like Talks, uh, which is basically kind of like uh, based off of torrents. Um, if you don't know what a torrent is, then where the hell have you been? Um, and we're we're just basically we're basically talking about uh, uh, talking about the security flaws in in video chats and stuff like that. And how how um, could we uh, create a more secure um, uh, video chat um, service? And and. Uh, it would take a lot of work because I mean I didn't realize how much work would go into it after talking to these now these people now I now I know, um, but uh, I mean I created a little chat myself a little um, Python script that could uh, basically do like a IRC chat um, if you will, um, and uh, it was easy you know it was very very easy once you know the coding and <coughs> um, and get out all the bugs uh, it's it's easy to remember. However, when you have to add video, it gets a lot more complicated, and you need to learn a little bit more than just Python. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just having an awesome conversation in here, and I just wanted to point out that IRCs are not dead, because people say, oh, IRCs are dead, you got Facebook, you got Twitter. <coughs> Excuse me. But with that, um, you basically open yourself up to... Twitter and Facebook's terms and conditions and with IRC terms and conditions you know it's not as extensive and um, how could I how could I put this uh, extensive and shadowy if you will um, as as uh, Facebook and Twitter's are their their contracts and who's gonna read that I mean I look at the IRC um, rules and regulations and uh, stuff like that and it's not as long no nowhere near as long as it is with Facebook and Twitter's um, terms and conditions and all this and all that and they don't ask for all these <clears throat> special permissions or anything like that so IRC is not dead there are ways to make IRC with proxies and VPN and stuff like that a lot more safer and more secure because there you know are people on here willing or you know attempting trying to attempt to uh, uh, gain access to your network and, and cause trouble and and you just don't want that you just gotta be smart really when you're on IRC you know learn if you get a website, make sure to uh, to check that website out. Don't go to it, you know. Just make sure that um, you can do a link scanner stuff like that. You can, if you have a, a, a security software program that offers link scanning, then I recommend doing that first before you um, click on it and go to it and open it up because then you're going to download all sorts of nasty little stuff. And you can also share files and stuff on IRC too. So. Just be smart, you know, in IRC, and you ain't got to worry about that. But with with uh, Facebook and Twitter, there's no just be smart. If you agree to Facebook's terms and conditions, that's it. You know, they'll do whatever they want, you know. So, I mean, but, I mean, it's secure, you know. I mean, hell, Facebook couldn't even tell where I was. It thought I was in Nigeria at one second, at one time. And uh, uh, what my, what is my IP was telling me I was in, um, what was it, Texas? So... Facebook obviously sucks at location, um, trying to trying to uh, get your location because I know where I was. I was in the United States. However, it, Facebook was determining my location as in Nigeria. So, 
at least what is my IP was correct on where I, where I, what, what country I was in, you know. But uh, that was funny. I'm like, everyone's complaining about Facebook, you know, getting your location when there's ways around that very easily. And it can think you're in a totally different country when you're still in the same country, you know. Um, <clears throat> so it was, it was pretty cool to see that, that Facebook was uh, thinking I was in Nigeria. Um, I gotta fi find out a better way to do this. If you guys know of any better, any way, any better way to do this, the way I'm doing it, let me know because basically what I'm doing, I explained it in a, uh, another uh, another video I did today. But basically what I'm doing is I got my GUVC video uh, viewer open. I'm not recording with it. I just got it open. So um, that's feeding uh, the video you're seeing now is from my webcam. So. That's going through there, and then I got my screen recorder, which is recording everything. It's recording the GUVC video viewer, and it's recording my desktop. So that's how I'm doing it. And I just got it synced up with the frames per second on both uh, programs. But uh, like I said, there's there's thing there's stuff wrong with that. Like I did now. See, I just went away. So if you know any better way of doing this, let me know. Um, I've tried recording my desktop. I've tried GUVC video, just recording it straight like this. But I want to record my desktop as well as add in my ugly mug if you will <laughs> um so yeah just uh try out irc because it's not dead guys and i'm on I'm, I'm going i've been on it for a while and uh, i've been on it the past um few days like constantly on it every day talking to people i got friends um a bunch of friends on here now um i did dabble in it a while back um with mirc uh, when i was using when i was just straight up windows um, back when I was doing uh, doing some uh, scrupulous things that I shouldn't be doing a um, while back, uh, I had a I had a bunch of friends, but uh, I kind of just got out of it because stuff was coming down hard, laws were changing, things were getting stricter, privacy and security and back doors and this and that. So I'm just like, yep, I don't want to be in prison for a long time. <laughs> So I'm just gonna stop and take a break and let 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 it figure itself out. And besides, I mean, there was already people people locked up and stuff. So I mean, they could have you know let out names and IP addresses and, and stuff like that. So it was a good thing to get out while I while I could you know while not too much information about myself was out there. Um, so yeah, uh, that's basically what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was. Um, Skype and uh, creating a more secure, more private um, way of doing video calls. I know you got uh, uh, you got the, what's that uh, go to meeting or whatever. But I mean, come on, there's back doors to that, you know. I want to create a freaking program that no back door to even me for the developer, the person that developed and coded the program, can't even get into. But people are just going to, you know, attack it and attack it and re-engineer it and find a way, find a loophole, find a backdoor, whatever you want to call it, into um, manipulating the code. So, you know, it's it's never foolproof, honestly, unless if, <laughs> unless if you develop a program and just keep it to yourself and never offer it up to anybody. And it's always been, it's always yours, you know. You don't give it to no one, but what's the point of that, you know. What's the point of, of having a video program that you can't offer to give to somebody else you know and let them use it you know just be yours you can't you know you'll be talking to yourself all the time um so yeah uh, i'm just gonna shut this off for a second um just quit that way i'm, I'm still recording my desktop though you know yep all right so there's plenty of ircs i just use xchat because it's simple i like the interface um and i just don't want to really download any other uh uh, client so but there's plenty of them out there I mean you can um, just search up on Firefox or with Google uh, you can go ahead actually I did have a problem with Google I had to freaking fix I had a problem with the uh, I think it was a repository or something but anyways let's go to let's go what were we talking about again we were talking about freaking um, IRC chats here we got Merck which is the I used for Windows back then when I was doing scrupulous stuff. Here's XChat, which many people are using. You got QEIRC, which actually Brayhawk Tech um, is using. We got IceChat, which I I used I seen HeckChat before, 
I, I like seen the interface and everything, but I didn't use it for connecting to um, connecting to anything. Uh, but uh, you got Ice Chat, uh, Hex Chat, Kiwi IRC, X Chat, uh, Merc. Uh, there's a couple others that I'm forgetting that are new that I have, are just. I gotta find. What's up? I don't know, something's going on. Uh, we'll, I will uh, check you guys later. I gotta go figure out what my dad's talking about. And let me just see. And I gotta get back into the chat here. Alright guys, talk to you later. Peace out. Stay safe.